I assume this has to be a better sweet day for you. Obviously not where you want to see the team being a, you know, a part of the organization for the last couple of years and as an advisor role. Uh, I'm just wondering, did you have a chance to speak with Jim prior to taking the job? And if so, did, what did you say? Uh, we had a really short conversation. Uh, we've been in uh, continual conversation, uh, but we had a real uh, short conversation, only a few minutes long before this. Uh, uh, we've had um, many conversations that have lasted hours uh, long. and. Um, I, uh, uh, this is a bitter, bitter day. Um, uh, some sweet to start to show up tomorrow, but, but this is a bitter, bitter day. Right? You spoke about building bridges and not fences and creating a culture. What's the culture you want to see from this Toronto Argonauts team? In the last couple of years, it's kind of been not there. Um, what is it you want to see from this team moving forward to really kind of start bringing Toronto Argonauts football back to the city of Toronto and start filling this arena? Uh, well, we can, um, you know, sur surmise sort of what it, it's really important to assess where the team is and, and first and those things that are needed. So, you know, the things that I imagine, right, um, so that I don't know, but the things that I imagine are just a, um, a, a, a greater sense of of family within the team, you know, having those guys who are founded here. And we have some of those guys, but but we lost a really important guy like Chris Van Zeel uh, this year, amongst other things. And and uh, so so really having that strong leadership here that that uh, our, our players who who understand who we are, what we are about, and and really buy into that. He was one of those guys, and, and we lost him, right? Um, and uh, you know, we, we as um, as was mentioned by Bill. We have only nine guys that have been here three years or more, right? Uh, th those kind of things um, lead to a transient uh, concept, right? It's, it's not, it's not, it doesn't lead to like a, a building a strong foundation, right? And so we want to have a, a, a strong foundation of players who, who understand that they are loved by their community, that they reach out to their community, that they enjoy being out in the community, that they uh, love spending an extra, um, you know, 20 minutes to, to take some time with fans and and uh, and to build that strength in the uh, fan base. And, and competence is essential right just doing things right on the field and and and, uh, and 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 having those outcomes right and so um, it, it is a mini blended thing that is it is several layers and and um, uh, so what what but I think the key here is is um, that we're, we're here to see this through yeah. we're, we're we're committed to to seeing this happen and and to to moving it forth i could talk to you about tech technical stuff i have this phase five phase one is this phase two is this phase three is this right but but it really is about um uh being a part of that family having that strong leadership where young guys can talk to older guys uh where um staffs can you know ha have the strength to to uh, uh to balance each other and and you know when you have a, a new staff like you have with with Corey um, here, I mean he's he's only had you know uh, a year to kind of get things going. Right? Yeah, uh, preferably you, you you like to have a coach that's been here three, four, five years, and we're building on him. And and uh, and guys are moving away and becoming head coaches from him, but that guy is staying here, right? And and so those are the kind of things that we'd like to see in place over the long term. I'll get you out on this. You talk about family being important. Your beautiful family was here today. How much were they involved in the decision of you taking on this new role? Um, you know, in, in the past, I think they've been uh, a little bit more uh, involved in it, and uh, uh, namely my wife, right? But I always ask the girls uh, kind of how they feel. Um, if it involves football, their answer is immediately yes. Um, and uh, they, they come to every game. Uh, my, my wife is the, the more of the measuring stick, right? So, um, but uh, again, at, at this time, it's, it's right timing. My, my youngest daughter is in her final year of high school now. And, and uh, so um, in terms of fa family ba balance, family dynamics, and, and what you have to give, the hours that you have to give to a job like this, um, in a better situation than I've, I have been in the last 12 years. Pinball, congratulations on becoming the new general manager of the Toronto Argonauts. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And, uh, and you know, just um, a, a real shout out and recognition to Jim Pop.